Hi, Mike here. Today uh, I'm going to install two house batteries to the van and I'm going to take you along to show you what I do and how I do it. So here we go. Alright, here we are in the back of the van. I put both batteries down inside the well of where the back seat used to go. When it used to fold down into the stone go used to fold down into this bay. So I put the batteries here. These batteries came out of a old wheelchair that my mom did not want anymore. She was going to junk it and I took the batteries out. The batteries still are good. They have plenty of power, especially for what I'm going to be using them for. Uh, they used to power a wheelchair and now they will be just doing smaller things like powering a fan, uh, phone chargers, just small items. So I will be taking you step by step how I'm going to hook these up. I'm going to hook them up in parallel. I could put hook them up in series but I do not want to uh, if I hooked them in series it would double the voltage these are 12 volt lead acid gel gel battery sealed I do not want to double the voltage to 24 volts I would rather put it in parallel and double the capacity so that's what I will be doing So I've got this 4 gauge wire that I got on Amazon for like $8.95. I'll be using this. I'd rather use 0 gauge, but I only have 4 gauge. This should do. Shouldn't be a problem. So when you hook them up in parallel, you go from negative to negative, positive to positive. It's just that easy. In series, you would be doing negative to positive and then having your loads come out the negative and the positive. But we will be hooking these together negative, negative, positive, positive. It's that simple. Okay, well that was easy. I just made sure that I did not bridge the gap between these two to cause an arc or myself to get electrocuted. So we now have both batteries in parallel, which will increase the capacity. These are each 75 amp hour batteries, which will increase it to 150 amp hours, staying at 12 volt, 12 volt DC. Now, the problem that I have, well, it's not really a problem, but I do not have a way of really charging these. I do not have solar. I do not have a battery isolator. If I need these charged, I will have to be using a regular battery charger, which is no problem because I'm not on the road full time or anything. This would just be to use a few days at a time. Actually, for what I'm using it for, this will probably last maybe a week or two. And that's another thing I'm going to test out to see how long these actually do last. And I will let you know. In the meantime, to get these to work, I got this off of Amazon that I will be attaching to the batteries. This is a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter socket. It's actually pretty heavy duty. I have that. But this one socket is not enough for me. I wanted more. So what I did is I bought this. And I will be attaching this end to this. This has voltage. It will show you the voltage on, on it. It has four USBs and three cigarette DC 12 volt. So let's get that hooked up.
there we go simple process we got it all hooked up we got the, the negative to the negative on this side of the battery positive to the other battery got a rope through here up here now we'll connect this Tesla unit and see how it works all right so we got everything hooked up I attached this USB unit charging unit this comes with a button you just turn it on and it shows 13.1 volts which is pretty good it was charged two weeks ago and the batteries had just been sitting <coughs> so I'm gonna fully charge these batteries see what the max is it should be 14 point something volts 14.1 I think is the max so and then we'll go from there and I think right now I will plug a few things in and see how it works this this is actually heavy duty wire heavy gauge for this I wasn't expecting that and it comes with some little sticky things you can stick around it comes with two extra ones in case you need them but pretty neat okay here's the test everything's hooked up I have a fan plugged in to the DC get the fan here let's turn it on see what yeah we have power it works great works great I love it so I also took out my 400 watt power inverter plug the cigarette lighter side in and if I want to I can now have AC DC converted to AC of course that's gonna use my batteries up faster so I'm gonna try not to use the inverter so much I'm going to try to keep everything 12 volt DC. So that is really cool. They got 2.1 amp USB and a 1 amp side. That's pretty neat. So there, there you go. I hope that helped. Um, two 12 volt batteries, 150 amp hours, connected in parallel, positive to positive, negative to negative. It's that easy. You don't need to be an electrician. I'm not. There's plenty of videos out there that will also show you, show you the same thing. I hope this one made it simpler. Like, again, I said there is a 10 amp fuse included in this. And I ran it through, up through here. You can monitor the volts from there. You don't need to buy a separate voltmeter, which I was going to do. It's all right here. Self-contained system works pretty good. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and like and share if you like it. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye-bye.